Welcome to Positive Hurting 101, taking positive hurting skills from front room to field. Positive methods have been used in many, many dog sports and other animal training. But how about herding? Is it possible to use positive methods in herding? I say yes, positively it is. So here's a mind map of the two books and then we get into skills without livestock. Then we work on uh, the directionals that become flanks. We do the stop, in, the back, out, and close. What we're gonna do is talk about moving skills from your front room to your field. Now I wanna go over some flirt pull basics here. Once I've done obedience with it and my dog's able to sit down, stand when I ask them to, then I move on to using it with herding. So I might use it like this. Come by. Yes, get it. 